Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your um, oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into this Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, I was shuffling off camera. Can't make this stuff up. I know some of you tired of seeing this card, especially if it hasn't come in yet. A whole lot of money. And then I picked up another deck, another oracle deck, the Amira's Love Oracle, and the money card came out. Some of you are manifesting a whole lot of money, um, or you're doing a whole lot of work to get a whole lot of money. Some of you were dealing with someone, and maybe you thought they were a twin flame soulmate, but it says that maybe they were for the short term especially if they were like if they have fair skin a uh, european um you know caucasian or somebody with fair skin here um they were for they were for a fun time maybe to get you through um also the cards want you to know that more enjoyable fun times are coming in uh for you uh the person that you're kind of pining over or hoping to come back definitely was was not here for the long term they were here to show you what it is you really don't want um there could also be somebody wrestling with their sexuality okay and it could be like um somebody who appears very masculine very heterosexual um but they either have idea or they have already experienced same-sex connection but it's very uh covert it's you know they're in the closet Okay, um, let's keep going here, Aquarius. All right, let's see what the cards want to tell the Aquarius. Um, some of you are watching too much tarot, okay? ODing on, um, you know, tarot readings online or doing your own or going to different readers. Um, you need to slow that down. It's only going to confuse you. And sometimes the cards will play with you. If they see that you're... You're running from here to there to over there. You're trying to get a message that soothes you, that fits you. They'll play with you. Um, so be careful of that. Get your message. Move on. Go about your your life, your day. Um, you can have times where you check in. Um, or if you, if you just like listening to Tarot, then listen to it with an, with an ear of entertainment. Everything is not for you. These messages are not personal, especially the ones on YouTube. You know, you want your own personal reading? Find a trusted reader, psychic, whomever, and uh, stick with that person. Even if you hear something you don't want to hear. Some of you are running around from here, there, trying to get messages. Wow. Yeah, some of you talk too much. Somebody you're dealing with talks too much. Um, some of you tell too much in your business. You put too much out there. Um, people... You know, sometimes people let you talk so that they can, you know, gain ammunition, use things against you. Sometimes it's just best to be quiet. Some of you are just talking um, and not listening. Um, you're not gaining anything. You're also not adding to anything. Something about um, uh, no added value. I don't know what that's for. Um, somebody that you talk that you were talking to or in the talks with in that talking phase. I don't know if you're dating or whatever it may be. Um, there's just a lot of talk, a lot of smoke and mirrors, a lot of hot air. You cannot trust what they say. Um, they are untrustworthy untrust at best. Um, this is what's coming out. Let's see. Um, let's keep going, Aquarius. Um, Okay, this one to come out. Somebody's not physically attracted to their partner, okay? Um, this could be you. This could be someone that you're dealing with. I'm picking up, like, if you're in a third-party situation, if you are the third party, if you were the third party, um, you were the third party because your person is just not physically attracted to their marital partner, their girlfriend, boyfriend. They don't want to get out of the relationship that they're in, but they just want some fun. They want excitement. They want attraction. They want chemistry. And maybe you served your purpose. Somebody is the town whore. I mean, you know, that song, I Get Around, 
yeah they get around okay um and then again somebody is wrestling with uh their sexuality cross dresser this is something that they could do in secret they can actually just like dressing in women's clothing or men's clothing um I'm getting also bisexual. You know, if they aren't full on lesbian, um, homosexual, then they're bisexual. Somebody is really wrestling with this. Um, it causes them a lot of stress, a lot of strain. They do a lot to keep this down. Okay? They do a lot to keep this away from you. Some of some of you, if you dealt with somebody who was um in jail or did different jail stints or different jail time they have you know um you know crossed over to the other side in terms of same-sex um connections uh they could like it or it, it's something maybe they this is also could be a person that just likes the same sex um they like same sex what i'm trying to say is <laughs> they like to have sexual encounters with the same sex they want to have relationships with the opposite sex, sexual conquest with the same sex, okay? Um, let's keep going here. Let's see what we got. And then we'll pull from a different deck. Um, some of you, somebody thinks that you're absolutely nuts. You're crazy uh, for thinking so highly of yourself, for thinking so highly of your business aspirations, your plans. Um, they don't believe that you can do it, that you can bring in all of this money, that you could be successful. Okay, money... It, don't look at money as a negative. You need money to sustain yourself. Those who yell, money isn't everything, those are the ones who probably have enough or more than enough. Um, but if you if you put them on the different side of the spectrum, then they would understand that money is sustainability, and we all need that. It's the currency of life, okay? Also, when your finances are together, you can then focus on other things like spirituality, bettering yourself in terms of maybe your physical health relationships that maybe have gone to the wayside when you are concerned with money and making money then that is your concern nothing more and nothing less okay it consumes you and that's why whatever god you believe in wants you to be fruitful um it wants you to be abundant therefore you're not just focused on every day same thing day in day out go to work come home go to work come home you're not focused you can't focus not that you can't think about or kind of dip your pinky toe in but you can't focus on anything else outside of um the wash wash rinse repeat cycle of making money that's why you want to get to a place of financial stability not so that you can flash around some of you want to do that and that's okay that's i don't really care um but um it's more so about sustainability and it's about stability okay you can't do anything if your finances are in a in a in a terrible state or it's up and down or there's instability okay so that's for those out there who yell money is than everything great well do this for us for all of us listening um empty your bank accounts divide it up amongst all of the aquarius uh subscribers here at the channel and let us know how you feel about money then you know when you have nothing okay all right you know you, you need it to live it's the currency of life i wish it was different but it is not stop trying to get away from it lean into it and move on okay it's not a big deal all right um Let's see. What else? What else we got for the Aquarius? What else do we have for the Aquarius? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Somebody got caught cheating here. Okay. Um, caught cheating. Um, some relationship that you're in, Aquarius, is driving you crazy. Or someone that is in a relationship, that relationship is driving them crazy. Um, somebody just needs to apologize, okay? Someone just won't apologize. Someone is homeless and in need. Know that this could be a very temporary state. You can change your circumstances at any given time. You just got to work on it and, f and focus on changing that. Somebody's not willing to fix the marriage because someone was caught cheating, okay? They're not willing to fix the relationship because someone was caught cheating. Someone is missing you. They want to come back to you. They love being in your arms. 
but at the same time, there could be either you, Aquarius, or another person who's closed off to love. And somebody is absolutely love sick over you or you them. They can't even get out of bed, at least on time in the morning. Some of you, you get a lot of attention because you have a, a big social media presence or you're you know, your uh, presence on social media is big. Um, you could be IG fashion model. Um, you could date people, but it, it's nothing um, serious. This wanted to show its face here. Um, Aquarius, uh, you had a dangerous person around you. Watch your back. Um, they're dangerous because they're holding secrets. It's just what I heard. And if you find out that secret or if you feel like you know it, um, they feel like they, they need to do something. Okay. Um, they need to do something to you, okay, so that you don't not you don't release that. You got health in decline or health declining in reverse, which is good. So you're on the uh, on the come up, Aquarius. You're not going down anymore. Um, this also could be your financial health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. Just health is going up here, um, especially if you uh, some of you suffered uh, from um, from some real health. Uh, issues, um, something that was uh, debilitating, where you couldn't move, you couldn't get up, or, or, or whatnot. Some of you just are in the need of new, real friends. I think you—that's one of your prayers. This is what you are, um, you're asking for, uh, moving forward. Okay, um, and, and some of you know it because you know that somebody is jealous of you. Uh, they talk about you behind your back. They aspire to be like you. You are inspiration, but then they turn the inspiration into jealousy and hate. Um, uh, so, I don't know. you got to be very cautious about that. And then you had dangerous person pop out. This could be someone doing spell work. If they're not doing spell work, then they're, they're speaking negatively about you heavily. Okay? Which could also be interpreted as spell work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, this person doesn't want me to talk. Um, let's see. Ooh, this person could be trying to attack your throat chakra. Hang on a second. Aquarius. <clears throat> this person could, um, yeah, some of you, they kind of attacked your voice, the vocal cords. And they were tired of you talking. You did have talks too much. Um, but, you know, maybe some of your talk was good. It was valuable valuable you were um you know adding value um productivity to other people's lives and your own um this person uh somebody was like really trying to attack you okay uh it looks like it was blocked for a lot of you okay um let's keep going here let's see what the cards have to tell fun times are on the horizon here for you aquarius some good times some fun times um, you could be celebrating something. Yeah, somebody tried to attack uh, your destiny, but the hand of destiny um, stepped in here. God, spirit, angels, whatever you believed in, stepped in here. Something is meant for you. Uh, this path is meant for you to take. Um, something altered your destiny, too. Um, if you lost, I mean, if you lost a job or if you lost something or lost someone, um, this was supp it's supposed to happen like this. I'm leaning into that also in my own life. When things don't turn out how I think they should turn out, I say to myself, oh, it was supposed to happen like that. Um, it's comforting. <laughs> um, and it also brings you, you know, out of that space of blowing up. You know, just say, okay, it was supposed to happen like this. You know, for whatever reason. Um, let's see. Yeah. Some of you are dating or someone wants to date you. Some of you are dating with intention to be married or someone isn't dating you with intention to marry you, Aquarius. Um, let's see. Somebody's getting their karma for treating you absolutely horrible. Somebody does have, um, again, back to that wrestling with somebody's, um, either sexual addiction, sexual repression, because somebody will not allow themselves to be themselves uh especially if it has something to do with of sexual orientation sexual desires um uh what is what is that fetishes um uh, somebody likes just both the same sex okay and it could be a soulmate that you're dealing with um they could have found soulmate love in you um and maybe they didn't expect to find that um or vice versa. This is uh, how you feel. This person could be a soulmate, but they're here to teach you something so that you can move on, learn the lesson, move on, uh, find your life partner, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to. Um, also, 
can't make this stuff up fell out into my hand this soulmate came into your life like i said in the beginning somebody was temporary they came into your life to show you what it is you don't want for you to learn a lesson move on so that you can find true love because this person though they were a soulmate they were not a, a true love okay they can't be a true love because they weren't being truthful with themselves if it has nothing to do with their sexuality it has everything to do with the fact that um, they're promiscuous. They wanted to be in an open relationship. They had you as a third party. They didn't care about your feelings. They were careless, narcissistic, hurtful, um, either outwardly or, um, you know, it, it was something that they were doing covertly, you know, like just a uh, master manipulator. Yeah, had you in a triangle, had you in a third party situation, uh, wanted to have friend, uh, friends with benefits type of situations with you, Aquarius. Um, Let's see what's coming, uh, the good stuff coming uh, towards you. I hope it's nothing but good stuff. Um, let's see all the good that's coming towards my Aquarius moving forward. Um, it looks like a lot of past energy or something that you're trying to move past here, Aquarius. Some of you, um, you need to just be focused on whatever you're doing for money. Because that, that whole lot of money card, every time I pick up these cards, and I'm really connected to these cards that I made, um... I pick up the cards and I, I attempt to do an Aquarius reading and that card just falls out. So if it's not, you're not the Aquarius who is focused on a whole lot of money, then that's not for you. We talked about that. Um, it could be for someone else. All right. Um, let them have that in peace. Let them have that in peace in the comment section. Please do not attack people who need money in the comment section. <laughs> um, let's just be respectful. Everybody's on different walks. Or, and different paths, you know, in their in their walk in this life. So let's just be respectful. Um, some of you got an idea, you got something coming, something that's in the works. You're expecting something. Um, it's going to turn out very well for you. Okay, um, you're going to get a whole lot of money from this. This is going to allow more comfortability in your life because some of you are uncomfortable, uncomfortable with the instability. Okay, uh, yeah, thoughts. You're in somebody's thoughts here. Um, it could be a masculine thinking of you. You could have had a relationship with this person. They weren't fair to you. They were not equal or the relationship wasn't equal. There was someone else here. Um, there is separation here. You guys understand that there's time uh, to be apart, to separate. All right. The next card we got is, yeah, ooh, false person. Uh, this reduces to a seven and eight. It just kind of, um, Somebody's just not who they say they are. Now, this could be coming up in any capacity here. Um, if you're thinking of, um, about someone, if you have a thought about how, what this person is or how they do or what they like or if they are, you fill in the blank. It's probably true, you know, because if you feel like this person is a bad person, is a, is a thief, is a liar, is uh, secretly gay lesbian that's what it is you know um they're coming off as false they're not being honest with themselves firstly they're masquerading around um like they are something else or there's someone else uh they're closeted you know um understand aquarius can't make it up great fortune is on the horizon for you um i think because some of you are tapped in um in terms of spirituality some of you are getting your your uh, you're walking into your calling into your destiny so your fortune is great um the spirit god angels whomever you believe in whatever you believe in um they're going to be able to use you for greatness okay um your life means something okay and um, that's why you're so protected for some of you um the lovers coming out um your fortune could be tied into maybe um, a love relationship. Somebody you have great chemistry with um, or that you will have great chemistry with. This could be a new person. could be an old person. I really feel like this is a new a new person because you're choosing. Um, you're choosing here with the lovers here. You're making a choice to leave something behind. They have some life-altering change. Because some relationship was only about sex. Um, the it was stuck. It was stagnant. The health of that relationship wasn't, it wasn't healthy. It was bad. It was, it was, uh, it was the reverse of everything that you say you want. Um, but you stayed, um, somebody was keeping the relationship stagnant, stuck at sex only. Um, even if they didn't say it to you, this is how they were acting. 
a mature man showing up for you. Um, it could be an older man. This is all that they have to give here also. Okay, this person could be in, in poor health or was in poor health. Um, their health is getting better. Could be an older man here. Um, silver fox, somebody who's older, looks good for their age, or at least takes care of themselves. Um, they At least they try to. Um, yeah, so a message of concern here. So we've got um, this older mature man could uh, either reach out to you or you to them. It could be your father is what I'm hearing too. Somebody is in need, need of money, need of a place to stay. We did have homeless and in need. We have somebody who's reaching out to you with a message that is concerning. It really doesn't concern you, but they're trying to bring you in on it. You have the decision to make. You know, do you want to be in on this uh, friction, this drama? You know, you don't have to be. A gift is showing up for you, Aquarius, okay? Um, you are a gift. You are a gift to this person. You could gift this person something. Uh, saying, you know what? Have this. You do not have to give it back, okay? Um, just don't ask me for anything else, you know? Um, and that's typically how you need to do things, especially when people are in need. Um... You know, um, Judge Judy, I love Judge Judy. I don't care what anybody says. All right, don't add me. But she says, you don't loan friends money. You give friends money. So maybe you need to gift something to someone or someone will gift something to you. You'll give a gift. Uh, you, could, it could, you could be going to a birthday party, um, anything here. But... What it says is that maybe you are a gift here. It, something it will be gifted to you around maybe the springtime too. This card talks about, or it talks about the next holiday. So the next holiday, um, wherever you are, you know what your next holiday is in your respective uh, country, state, town. Um, the next holiday you will give a gift or you receive a gift here. Um, it will be perpetual. So something, I don't know, that maybe someone will always do or something that you always do or you've got some some type of energy that is um, showing up where this is something that you work for, um, you use your gift. Aquarius, it's a time for healing the balsamic moon. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is what I'm saying, Aquarius. Look at that. The end of a tough cycle of approaches. I kept getting that you guys are about to walk into a very fun time. You're going to get money that you deserve. You worked hard for. Time for healing. It's time for you to just to take a breather. You've done enough. Um, there's nothing else you can do but get into the, excuse me, the energy of receiving. Because some of you don't know how to receive. All you, do, all you know how to do is give. Give, give, give. Because that's what you've had to do. That's how you had to assert yourself. Or this is how you had to be first. Or you need to get in the energy of receiving and healing. Okay? It's time to let go of the past. Uh, you're about to turn the corner. I'm saying it, Aquarius. Wow, this is so crazy. A tough... The end of a tough cycle approach is full moon in Capricorn. So maybe around Capricorn season, you're going to see the fruit of your labor. Labor. Uh, bring love into the situation a new moon in Aquarius okay so maybe around the new moon in Aquarius you're going to have to um, be loving caring healing um, you need more time to heal okay so before you get back out there and start dating some of you need more time to heal and you need to think about the situ think about how the situation would look if everyone were healed wow so you were dealing with somebody who was just unhealed and just not ready for you didn't treat you fairly because they couldn't. Um, you're going to have to uh, be patient, okay? And that's why they're asking you maybe around Capricorn, Aquarius time. You're going to have to bring love into this situation. A tough cycle um, is ending for you right now. This is really good. And maybe around Libra for some of you, um, a new romantic cycle uh, begins around the Libra new moon. Um, you just need to release something here. You need to be open. Uh, to release and letting go relinquish whatever this is it happened it is what it is um let's move forward aquarius very good reading i hope that you took something from the reading if you did go over to the website book your own oracle reading just like this one you can get oracle cards pulled for 
uh, all the questions that you have for your life. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. All links are below. You can ask a question by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Take, thank, take care, Aquarius. Thank you.